Living in the cold waters of the North Atlantic is one of the most famous food fish, the cod, or Gaddis mula, to give it its scientific name. Like here off the west coast of Norway, where a growing number of cod farms are in operation. Cod was once the foundation of a vast fishing industry, stretching from the eastern coast of Canada to the North Sea and the Arctic Ocean, providing a cheap and healthy food to millions of people. But over many years, relentless fishing pressure has driven cod populations to an all-time low. Cod stocks on the Grand Banks of Canada and in the North Sea have collapsed. Traditional fishing industries are in crisis. If cod is to remain on the menu while wild stocks recover, then new methods of production have to be found. This is where aquaculture, the farming of fish in controlled conditions, can help keep the markets open. Aquaculture takes control of the life cycle of the fish, from the hatching of the eggs to the rearing of the juveniles and the growth of mature cod to market size. But it all starts here in the cod hatchery with the broodstock fish. From the broodstock, we, we collect eggs. Uh, we keep the eggs for uh, maybe 14, 15 days in an uh, incubator room. Uh, and then they hatch into, into larvae, fish larvae. Uh, they're very small when they hatch, three, four millimeters long, and only, uh, well, very thin, uh, weigh only 0 0.5 milligrams. Uh, you can't see them with a bare eye actually, you have to use a flashlight to see them. Um, since they're so small, they, uh, they can't eat dry feed for the first uh, four or five weeks. So, uh, so on the farm we also produce live feed, uh, a small zooplankton called uh, rotifer, and uh, also uh, live algae. Uh, feeding with, uh, with live feed goes on for approximately 35 days and then we gradually wean them onto a commercial agglomerated uh, diet. Uh, this weaning process, as it's called, is, is one of the really critical steps in cod farming and is also uh, uh, one of the major challenges we have to face to, to really get a successful uh, production. From the hatchery, the juvenile cod are taken out to offshore net pens where they're raised in a similar way to farm salmon. The temperature of the water, the level of oxygen and salt are all carefully monitored and even the amount of light reaching the fish is controlled. Now we use uh, light manipulation to stop uh, early maturation. Uh, we have good vaccines to uh, help us about uh, this vibrosis uh, problems which we have in uh, the summer period. The fish is uh, growing better and the feedback from our customer is uh, very good.